Thank you, Justin. A big week for college, for high school football, excuse me, and an even bigger night for the Rapid City Rush. Joining us now, Mark Benetti, the new media relations director. So you're kind of new to town, very new, actually. What are your first reaction to the team and the fans and everything you've heard about the Rush so far? Well, the team's absolutely fantastic. This team is built to win and it's built to last. And Rapid City reminds me of a small fraction of home, which is most recently Charlotte, North Carolina, for the last 11 years. So I uh, absolutely love it here. I love the fans, love the organization, and can't wait for the home stand the defense of our home ice to begin tonight now originally from new york and then you lived in uh charlotte I, charlotte what yeah okay uh what kind of what's the first uh, feeling of the black hills here uh the black hills like i like i said it reminds me of a small fraction of charlotte the people are fantastic the the community is great and it, the, the community embraced me when i came in when mm -hmm. people started meeting me and realized who i was they were just absolutely fantastic people and it, it's just been a great experience since i since i came here it's been so fun. tell us a little more about your background and how you got involved with this organization well my my degree is actually in biology uh, mm -hmm. I went to the University of South Carolina and uh, wanted to go to medical school and realized that that might not be the best route for me. I've always had a passion for sports and actually started working at ESPNU in Charlotte. Uh, I did a lot of um, production for them, cutting highlights, helping cut highlights, went into statistics and research for college football, and then uh, landed on an internship with the Charlotte Checkers in the American Hockey League. They're the um, AHL affiliate of the Carolina Hurricanes was hosting intermissions, pre-game, post-game, and then all of a sudden this job opened up. Daniel Neves, the former voice of the Rush, mm -hmm. contacted me, and he said, if you want it, it's yours. You, you seem capable and enthusiastic, so here's your shot. So so what does it mean to be the voice of the Rapid mm -hmm. City Rush? It is an exhilarating feeling because <laughs> you are, you're the liaison between the game and the people at home, and some even in the crowd listening. There are plenty of people who they, they tell me it's like a NASCAR race back in Charlotte who they'll have their headsets with the radio tuned in while the game's actually going on in mm -hmm. front of them. So it's it's great being that that buffer between the action and and then the people at home and and here in the arena sometimes so it's uh it's definitely exhilarating you know you get you get such a rush calling the games hockey's such a fast paced physical mm -hmm. game and this past weekend in Wichita Quad City that's exactly what we got hard fought 2-1 win Friday night a barn burning 6-4 win against Quad City Saturday night so it's just absolutely exhilarating now you mentioned uh, obviously no stranger to hockey you've worked in minor league sports before but you said during the commercial break when we were talking that this might be the best oiled machine in all of minor league sports. How do you, how do you kind of explain that a little? Well, the, the ownership is stable. The yeah. fans are fantastic. They pack this place. There's uh, The capacity is 5,119, and they pack it tight just about every night. Mm -hmm. uh, there are fans, you know, Coach Ferris earlier talked about the season ticket holder party, how there were 1,500 people in attendance. There are some teams that would kill to have that on a nightly basis, mm -hmm. and, and their capacities are so much more than that. So the fans, they're clearly there. The ownership is clearly there and when you look at other minor league organizations there are teams that come up and fold just as quickly as they're created so mm -hmm. this team is built to last and it's built to win as we've seen by the championship banner hanging <laughs> up right there and there's still tickets for tonight's game at 705 the home opener mm -hmm. so be sure if you're not already planning on it to get on down here a very exciting night here in rapid city and when we come back we'll have some more weather some more news you're watching news center <laughs> one today we're live at the rushmore plaza civic center we'll be right back